Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of my poker vlog. Uh, I wanted to start off by saying thank you so much to everyone that came by to my first vlog. I learned a lot from your guys' comments and feedback, uh, just how to become a better poker player and also vlogger in general. I'm gonna take a lot of your guys' feedback and uh, use that going forward with how I play poker and also editing the vlog. So thanks again for that. And we are currently in LA right now. We're gonna be playing some 5-5 five, five, No Limit Hold'em. Hoping I do a little bit better than how I started in May, so um, let's see if we can start turning that around today. Alright, so I was playing a bit here at this point and we were not doing too hot, but finally we pick up Ace-Jack offsuit. Uh, middle position me, I raised to 15 bucks, and then the small blind, big blind, and under the gun call the uh, open raise there, so we're off to the flop. And that flop comes out 5-8 jack with two diamonds. Um, everyone checks over to me. And I make a decision here to put out a bet of 20 bucks. We got top pair, so I'm feeling pretty good in the spot right here. And we have a really good kicker. So the small blind folds and the big blind calls the 20 bucks under the gun folds. And we're off to the turn. And that turn is the nine of spades. Big blind checks and I check right back. And now here comes the river, the two of hearts. I'm pretty confident at this point that I have the best hand. Um, he raised it 20 bucks and I made that call pretty quickly. Uh, he shows the ace queen suited and we take that pot down with a pair of jacks um, in hindsight i probably should have raised i didn't think he was that strong and i was correct there so i might have lost some value on that hand but uh played it kind of safe and uh, yeah going into our next hand here we have king jack suited i'm uh, in the under the gun plus one position here i have about 280 bucks and pre-flop we're all in for about 15 dollars the flop comes out, 10 jack ace rainbow, and the pot's at $60 right now. I'm not super happy with this flop, but we do have some outs. Uh, if a queen comes out, we're in good shape. The small blind bet's 25 bucks, the big blind folds, and here I'm thinking for 25 bucks with those pot odds, it's probably okay to keep playing here. I have a backdoor flush draw, and I also have that straight draw, so I go ahead and make the call here for 25 bucks. And then the middle position to the left of me here makes the call. And we're off to the turn, which comes out the queen of hearts. So we're in great shape here. We have the straight. I'm confident we have the best hand, but I'm a little bit nervous here because the flush draw is a possibility on the river, and I don't want to take the risk of that happening. So in the past, I lose a lot to flushes, and I think it's because I'm not betting enough on the flop and the turn, and I'm letting these people get a lot of free cards, and I don't want to make that mistake again. So in my head here, I'm thinking, okay, let's size this appropriately. So if anyone's on a flush draw, maybe they won't go for it and I won't get cooled with my straight. I bet $110, which I actually think might've been too much because if someone has a two pair or something here, I don't bait them in for the call and I'm gonna lose a lot of value. Middle position folds and small blind folds quickly after. Beating myself up at this point thinking, why did I bet so much? But I was a little scared of the flush Scared money is not going to make me money, so it is what it is. And let's move on to the next hand and forget about that one. We got Ace Jack here, suited. I'm in the big blind position with about 380 in my stack. Feeling good. We're up on the day so far. The button raises it up to $10. Small blind calls the 10 bucks. I also call the 10 bucks, and we're off to the flop. Flop comes out, 10 king, 7 rainbow, pots at about 30 bucks now. Small blind checks, me in the big blind position I check, and the button checks it right back. We're off to the turn here, which is a 5 of diamonds. Small blind makes a really quick bet here for $20. I make a pretty quick fold here, don't think we have enough equity in this hand to continue playing. The queen of diamonds actually comes out, which is funny because I would have made a straight. The guy to my right had a flush, so it looks like we dodged a bullet anyway. All right, in this next hand, we're in the low jack. We have king 10 suited and under the gun open raises to $15. We make the call for 15 bucks. Shortly after that, the small blind and the big blind each call the $15. The pot's at about 60 bucks at this point pre-flop and we're four players to the flop, which comes out 387. Pretty quickly, it checks all the way around and we're gonna be heading to the turn here with not much made. And that comes out queen of diamonds. Another brick for us, it's not looking good. The small blind checks fast, and the big blind makes a bet of $25. I'm not happy with this board. We have no possible flush. We have no possible straight. We don't even have a pair. Under the gun plus one folds, and I quickly follow suit and fold. Starting off with our next hand here, we got jack five suited. 
I'm in the button position here with $280. We've been a little bit stagnant throughout the night, but not doing too bad. I limp in for $5 pre-flop. It's another four-way flop with a small blind, big blind, and under the gun plus one. We're all in for $5, so the pot's at about 20 bucks at this point. Flop comes out 5-5-10. Five, five, we actually hit the set off the rip, and everyone checks around. I don't want to look too obvious, so I also make a check. I might have missed an opportunity to bet there. The turn comes out queen of spades. I'm confident we're in the lead here based off of everything that's happened. Uh, checks over to me and I do a little bet here of $10 just to sweeten the pot a bit. And the best thing that could have happened does, the small blind actually raises to $20 and I'm feeling good about this now. Under the gun plus one calls and I call that 20, we're off to the river. Which don't think will change much, I'm pretty sure we're the strongest player here. We have a nine of spades coming out, still confident we have the best hand. There is a possibility of a flush out there now, which is a little scary. Checks over to me. I'm thinking here, what can I bet to get the most amount of value from my opponents? And the decision I end up making is $50. So I put the 50 bucks in, hoping someone calls. Small blind folds pretty quickly there. He was not happy with that hand. Under the gun plus one is thinking if he wants to call this, he must have a pair or something, maybe even two pair, but ultimately he decides to fold it too. Might have bet a little bit too much on that, but I thought that was a fair price for a two pair or a pair to call potentially. Guess it wasn't with the two fives out. Alright, next we pick up Ace Queen Offsuit. Uh, small blind me, I raised 20 bucks, big blind calls, and the under the gun and middle position also calls, so we're four ways to the flop with 80 bucks in the middle. This was actually an earlier hand in the night, but I edited this video weird, so it's towards the end. The flop comes out seven, queen, king, rainbow again. The pot is 80 bucks at this point, and I go ahead and make a $20 bet, which the big blind quickly calls, and under the gun, middle position, fold pretty fast. We have middle pair, we're not in the best spot, and the 10 of hearts comes out here. We have middle pair here, there is very low chance of a flush coming out, pretty high chance of a straight being out there, so we go ahead and make a check, and the big blind checks it right back to us. On the river, the king of diamond comes out. I'm pretty confident with where we're at. We're middle pair and we have the best kicker we could possibly have. I think we can take this pot down. I go ahead and make a bet for 30 bucks where the big blind quickly calls. I show my hand. We have two kings and two queens and he has two kings and two sevens. We have a better two pair and we take this pot down. In similar positions in the future, I might try to bet a little more and get some extra value. In the last recorded hand of the night, we pick up pocket nines in the middle position with about $225 in my stack. I open raise to $15. The low jack calls the $15 raise, and the button calls it as well. The small blind takes a considerable amount of time thinking about his next move here, which I am expecting a raise and it's not good news for me because I'm out of position with pocket nines. I'm just hoping he doesn't raise and we just continue, but unfortunately he raises to $100. The big blind folds and the decision's on us now. I'm not feeling too confident with pocket nines, this out of position with two more players acting after me. I know there's a lot of hands that beat me at this point and I'm not wanting to make the call unfortunately. And it's unfortunate because a nine comes out on the flop and we had trips. We would have won the pot which would have been pretty large unfortunately but I don't think gambling with pocket nines here out of position is the correct play so ultimately we just fold it away and lose some money. Hey everyone, uh, arriving home right now. I played for about three hours or so and we didn't do too good. We were actually down about $250 at the end of it. So pretty disappointed with how I played. Um, definitely not the best session. My phone ended up dying towards the end of it there. So I didn't get like an hour of footage or so. That, that was pretty disappointing. Um, I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to record that I couldn't because my phone was dead and um, was hoping to kind of learn from those situations. So it happens though, um, you know, just charge my phone on the way home and wanted to get you guys a little outro here. But um, next time we'll definitely uh, maybe bring an extra charger or something and make sure I have enough juice to, to last a three hour session. But yeah, overall, not the best day. Um, looking forward to the next one. Hoping to do a little better. Um, see you guys next time. Thanks.